got it ready. Let's head to the DLC. I'm gonna head to the first uh, lamp even though we have the second one. Because there's some stuff we missed. Last time we were in the DLC we just ran in to grab loot, but now we're actually strong enough to start doing the DLC. Alright. DLC boys, let's go. I'll take off the... Head there. Let's see how good we fare against one of these hunters now. Doing pretty good damage. You're not absolutely murdering me anymore. And the repost. Yeah, repost is gonna ruin. Yeah. We're pretty ready, I would say. Now, I have the shortcut, but I'm not gonna take it. Because I wanna explore. Been a while since I did the DLC. Very enjoyable, so let's take it slow. My controller's got a little. Ah, there we go, sorry. A little bit of gunk between the uh, camera stick. The uh, the right analog stick was uh, a bit odd. Hey, buddy. Ooh. I'm messing around, I. Well, I'm not messing around. Either. I don't want to shoot some executioner glove shots at one of them and see what it'll do. Head into this area and clear out some of the beasts. Oh yeah, we two shot the beast now. We three shot them last time. I tested my damage here. and the boom hammer guy are gonna face his face here soon. Boom hammer again. Both hunting the same beasts. Soon we're gonna be hunting each other. Oh shit. Oh, not bad. Oh, oh yeah, my ISP upgrade my... Uh, 100 megabit connection to 200 free of charge and at no additional monthly cost. Hooray. Nice. That's awesome. Bam! How'd you like that one? I need to remember to heal before I loot them, because they always keep dropping blood vials. They drop like three each. Any gun. I looted this. I need the cleaver for these. Shooting at me is being very rude. Come back, friend. 
stop shooting him. He's got great death animations and great sound effects when they die. I love it. Oh wow, I one shot him with a transform attack. Boom, boom, hammer guy. Right. Hit him. Are you here to hunt beasts? Hunt the beast. Oh, I got the prey before you did. What do you think about that? That did not work. That one did. I think he's angry. I stole his prey. Come then. Vials. Oh, we got more stuff. Vermin. Forget you can get that here. I think there's like three. Uh, that's it for this little area. That's where you get the beast cutter. We already picked it up. Because it's a great weapon and I wanted it early. We haven't used it much, but I will be using it at some point. Oh, it's my, uh... Well, it usually ends up being my fire weapon. Currently it isn't, because... I don't have a good triangle fire gem. And it's got a triangle slot. Waiting. Cleanse these foul streams. Uh, yeah, we were up here. We dropped down there. That's right. Up here. Holder. Nice job, friend. Friends, right? We're friends. We're best friends. Here comes another friend. This guy's my friend. amount of damage long duration effect I don't know if this guy's parryable doesn't look like it but I can knock him down over six blood vials damn Pretty good. All right. How you doing? On the job. Thanks to the eye pendant. I'll see you later. Do, 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 do. Let's head through Minigun Valley. Which normally... A place called Minigun Valley would probably be pretty cool, but... Not this one. Because in this one, we're the ones getting shot. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna right here. 
Ow. Wow, there's one right here? Wow, it's it's just if you run over here. Wow, that is an elaborate trap. That is super elaborate. I bet you the devs are real happy about their delayed mall basically just bombs it's all, they, all they are throwing bombs at Gotta make sure in case the guys drop any I like how like this building in the base game I like how grandpa's still here waiting for that to happen anyways. I was like, fuck it, I'll just trigger it myself. Because I knew I'd survive. I've got a lot of HP. Most of those, like, traps in the game like that aren't going to one-shot me, because I've got enough health. And now we have to fight the beast. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. He is tough. I'm hoping he's weak to fire because he's a beast man. So I'm gonna hit him a lot with Augur. Augur is gonna knock him down. attack. Got him. That guy is not easy. Firing hammer bad. Say again. Badge craft by the Odo Workshop. Precursor of the workshop of heretical powder kegs. The powder kegs were driven by singular ideas and crafted strange weapons of great interest. There's the philosophy of the powder kegs established at this time. Oh, yeah, I think that gives us the, those DLC weapons for buying as well as the uh, delayed Molotovs, I think. Alright, my least favorite enemy type of all time. The ticks. Because there is no real good way to fight them. Now, at least all of these are filled with blood. But the ones that are not filled with blood are much faster. For sure, these ones are poison, but I'd take poisoning over an enemy that is impossible to run away from. You just can't escape these guys.
Yeah, these ones are not so tough. Compared to uh, the ones at Kanar's Castle. Those ones are not fun. Time to find a man who's very trigger happy. Getting close. Wonder if he'll actually fire his mini gun. Okay, no. Getting close, avoid the spear moveset. Back off, just don't be Gatling gun. Find Rambo. Yeah. Sounded like Clippy for a second. But I see you're fighting Rambo. Would you like some help? That did nothing. Dead. Got him. Thanks for the Gatling gun. I don't think I'll be able to use it this playthrough because I think it's heavy as shit. Yeah, 28. At least 28, and it's really fun. It's a really fun weapon. Three blood vials now. We're probably gonna die now. If we die now, we have a shortcut actually. Blood starved beast. How do you go? I hate how it unlocks from blood starved beast every single time that it does the uh, charge attack. This is a bad place to fight for a star. It's just like a tiny cave. Cool fight. There's a cool place to fight, at least. I don't know if this one pops. Attention. See that one. Not bad. Or was it this one? It was one of them. I don't really use guns for damage, so not really useful for me.
combo almost kills you. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, fighting like three of them at once is an idea. Now we're poisoned. Down the blue. I'm gonna go for this one. Even though this one hadn't really aggroed, it's gonna be easier to kill it because it's under the blue. Someone might jump in. Jump in? We're gonna sit over there. Hide. Right behind me. Blood vial, buddy. Gonna heal the slow poison even though it was almost over. Blood gems. Damn, that one gun guy moved. Gas, fall off. A lot easier to kill down here. Oh, yeah. Wow! Cool death sound. And here's where we would have gotten our first shortcut down there, which I already have. Continue. But I'm probably about to die because I have zero blood vials. I should do one of those attacks as a fence form attack and maybe I can kill it in a combo. These guys are good for blood tinge gems, I guess. Just you usually don't need a whole lot of blood tinge gems. Come closer, yes. Get towards me. Good. Yep, kill him in one combo if I do a transform attack sometime during the combo. Oof, am I dead? Yep, there we go. Ha! I lived, but then I died because I had like one HP. Two. But now we got healing items, and we have a shortcut. Simon's still here. Hi, Simon. Talked to him earlier. In the uh, playthrough. I'm gonna kill the guys on the bridge, because otherwise they'll be shooting at me. Call the army. I missed some projectiles, but it did real good damage. That was very good. Hey, 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 hey! Jesus, let me heal, please. My God. Whoa. Unlock much. 
I got down like 1 HP for a second. Come back here. Don't you run from me. You bastard. You're just gonna attack me and run away? don't fight these guys, we run past them. But I'm wanting to fight them now, because it can be fun. Here we have four. I kinda want a tiny taunt just them and see them all three. I aim for that back one while I step in between, I think. This area. Hello. Yeah. A lot of the stuff I've already looted. I don't remember everything I've looted. It was a little bit different because they just have they just have flesh stuff in their mouth, so they're eating off of all the diseased and dead. The armor. There's a guy down there that I actually want to kill because I want some revenge on him. He killed me there. One of the runs. There he is. This guy's tough. Dodged under. Get him. Got so much health, but I got him. I bring that blood down and vermin. I'll jump down here. This is like the worst area of all time. Fuck that I just Jesus Christ. Oh. 
That guy is a bitch. Got him. Ugh. You can actually get back stabs on them, but it's kind of tough. Down here, the or oh. down there, there's an armor set, but we already grabbed it. This is where the axe guy came from. And there's a bunch of pillars you can run around here to try to avoid the shots of the damn cannon guy. Up here uh, is a lamp you should use when you find this area. Right there, save progress. The guy down here, I want revenge on. Cause he's a bit annoying. I like this, because you can see him in the shadow right there. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Yep. But now I can fast travel to that lamp. Let's see. It's up here. Fucking lamp. Now we'll spawn here instead. I need to do this anyways, because this is a better lamp for the boss. Just an FYI, the boss, I'm probably gonna get... I haven't fought the boss. I'm about to go fight. Here. Jesus. I lost my echoes. Oh, I, no, I know that's a summon. I don't know where they are. That guy ruined me again. That charge up hurts. But now we'll spawn here, so it won't take that long to get back. Lots of lost some uh, echoes. That sucks, but yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You win some, you lose some. Mostly, you lose some. Yeah, that is a summon you can get, but it's not very good. This guy's fucking insane. Gun. Parry. I didn't get. Die, you have no health. And there's a vermin. Oh, really? The crow guy? Who's Howl? I probably had my echoes last time when I dropped the shit on his own. Ow, I didn't even fall down here. There's a slug that fell last. And over here is where we find the, uh. It's a cutter. Uh, this is a bad way to take now because the cannon guy is back. And I don't want to walk past him again.
Alright, we're back here. Let's try our hand on the boss. Oh, I always come up here, give this person a lovely back rub. Every run, dude. And kill this guy. Does that girl drop five blood of vials almost every time, I believe? Here we go. He's a horse. I haven't fought this boss in forever. I forgot they had that move. I don't remember any of these boss moves. I don't remember when it's safe to heal. I just remember stage two. That's it. Because this is a two stage boss. Pretty much every boss in the DLC has several stages. Remember correctly, this boss's regular moves do very low damage, but his power moves, like the high damaging ones, are fucking lethal. Yeah, I can already feel it. Killed that guy that was talking to the other right there. Yeah, I wasn't really in the Oh, that attack. There we go. This is the best part of the fight. Hey, welcome to the stream. We're probably about to die to a boss. My, one of my favorite bosses <laughs> in this entire game. Oh, ah, listen to the music now. You were at my side all along. don't remember how to dodge all of his moves in this form, so we're probably about to die. Oof. Gotta dodge earlier than that. All I remember is that, yeah, that's bad. Back. Got heal. Oh, I don't remember. 
remember that move. I somehow took very little damage. That's the main damage of that. Bad timing. Going off though. That I need to dodge way later. I'm dying. Yeah, there it is. Good try. That's the first try there. Very good first try. Oh, it's been so long since I fought him. I actually have an easier time with stage 2 than stage 1. Stage 1, he's too unpredictable for me in the horse uh, stance. But once he gets the sword out, it get, becomes more predictable for me, but... He's still very hard, of course. Love this fucking boss. He's so cool. And that song. Frickin' song. I wish this guy for the vials. Close. All right, buddy. Fight again. that at this stage. Oof. I don't know how to time that. I don't have PS Plus, sorry. Can't play with you. GG boys, two tries. I'm pretty proud of that one. Yeah. Good hunter.
Have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Just making horse noises now. There we go. What was the item up here? Three blood vials. Nice. Let's see if we can get a level up. I'm pretty proud of that first attempt at Ludwig, though. That was pretty good. Or the second attempt, because we died the first one. And I'm really proud of the first one as well, actually, because we got him down to 80, uh, or we got him down to 20% health. We got what we got. Guidance. Rally potential. Ah, yeah. Not really that important to. Can I upgrade this to the Blood Rock? I want to fortify the uh, beef cutter one more time, though. Good weapon. Here comes a C. I don't really want to fortify it anymore, though, because of reason. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, okay. I had to check something up. Let's head back there. Underground corpse pile. Good name for location. doing head let me just wear a church piece real quick tell me good hunter of the church have you seen the light are my church hunters the honorable spartans i hoped they would be uh yes ah good that is a relief to know i did not suffer such denigration for nothing Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Even in this darkest of nights, I see the moonlight. And you know what I also see? Moonlight Holy Sword. Sorry, the Holy Moon. Oh, this fucking weapon. This fucking weapon. First of all, fucking Claymore moveset from Dark Souls 1. Claymore moveset. Dark Souls 1. Hell. Yes. Hold on. I, I need to remember. Oh, yeah. I don't think it has the running spin. Nope, no running spin. But it has the Claymore moveset. 
And then you hit this button. There you have it. A very good swinging weapon that has this move, which is amazing. Costs you one blood bullet. Costs you one bullet, and you have these. Which also cost you bullets, but are very good. God, this weapon is awesome. We're gonna go upgrade it now. I don't remember how to build this weapon. I think you just build it for all attack up. But those gems are very rare to come by. Now you have the Master Sword. My version of the Master Sword. The best weapon for our build, basically. We get it so damn late in the game. We need to farm Bloodstone Chunks, because I need to make this weapon ungodly powerful. And I also need to remind myself what it scales best with. Uh. Is... Yes... Half... Uh, holy Moonlight Sword. Uh, 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 uh. Nourishing gems are the best. Yep. Okay, so we don't have nourishing gems, and we're not going to get them for a while. We'll do our best. Step one, I'm gonna take everything out of my wheel. Step two, we're gonna look to see if we have any nourishing gem. There's one. There's a nourishing gem. Then we'll just put in as high damage as we can. For the last one, because that's all we can do, really. So right now, the weapon's doing an alright amount of damage, but it needs some more chunks. Now, I'm about to say something chat might not like. We're gonna go farming. That's right. Farming. Hopefully not for too long. I need this weapon to be upgraded. This is... This is it. This is the weapon. Well, one of our weapons we're gonna use a shit ton of. Yay farming, my favorite pastime. Yep, let's get in the tractor. Luckily for us, this farm isn't that bad. Now I'm gonna try out this weapon while farming. Just to see how it is at plus six. These guys, I believe, are assistant targets. Kind of a bad enemy. Tried the weapon on. One of these guys. And we're gonna try a fully charged art. Ah. Three hundred fifty damage just from the projectile alone. Let's see if I can get a hit with a blade as well. Come here. Oh! Jesus. Yeah, that's good for a plus six. For a plus six? That is crazy. Guards. Three shot them. Not bad. This farm's gonna be pretty easy then. There's one chunk. We're basically farming these guys for chunks. There's four in here. Uh, 
And then you just do this, and then we keep the killing them. Hey, I did play Farming Sim 17, or Farming Sim 2017. I have not. The only simulator I've played is um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. That was a fun, relaxing game. The problem is I don't have a steering wheel, so I'd have to play. I had had to play with keyboard, which is a lot less realistic. Which I stopped playing after a little while because of that. I need to get myself a steering wheel. I think I'd enjoy it a whole lot more if I had one. Farming these guys can be slightly annoying. Right. Because, goddamn relentless. Just want to kill you and take what you draw. Is that too much to ask for? Ow. Mashing buttons, hoping I live. Ooh. I started your truck sim with the keyboard, then with the mouse, and lastly I switched to my HOTS HOTAS setup. I don't know what that is. Which works surprisingly well, unless I was first park and then took some time getting used to it. Yep. Yep. Parking those trailers in reverse is the hardest thing you do in those games. Hands on throttle and Ah! I believe I know what that is. Six. And we need, that means we need. I have three. Okay. I don't know how many runs of this I'm gonna have to do. I'm getting like one chunk every run. If I could get a run where I get two or three, I'd be very happy. The problem is, I want to have a smooth run where I don't have to run around trying to avoid dying. I just want to run in and kill them. Come on, give me a chunk. You know what the worst part about farming these guys with chunks are? There is no thing in this game that increases uh, item drop rarity, like chance for rare items. You can increase item drop chance, but these guys have a 100% item drop chance, so there's no way to make them drop their rare drop uh, more commonly. It's always going to be this advantage. I guess both good and bad. Because that means at least I don't have to wear item find gear or that, like some game. Son of a bitches. I just want chunks. Stop it. Die. Jesus Christ. Just die. How hard is it to die? No magic find gear, worst game ever. Well, you can increase your drop rates, runes, but not rarity chance, just the chance that any of you actually drop an item. If they already have a 100% chance to drop an item, like these guys, then... Just... Useless. Also, leveling arcane gives you more drop rates, but... Again, like I said... I think these guys always have a 15% chance of a chunk, and like 30 of twins, and then... But, out of all those chances, they will always, always roll one. It's like, 50% chance, didn't get chunk. Okay, let's roll for 30%. Oh, there wasn't a twin. Okay, it's gonna be the third one. I think that's how they're rolled. I don't remember. 
fucking hell? Why can't I have an easy run? Why can't I just run in and just slaughter you and get some chunks, huh? Why can't it ever just run in and just beat you to death? Also, I have some bad luck. I haven't gotten one in like a few runs. I haven't gotten one in a few runs for a really long time now. I have three. I want at least eight. But I haven't gotten one. And that's annoying me now. I thought there was something on the ground. It was a message. Well, I'll do at least three more runs of this, and if I don't get at least one more, then... SOL, I guess. And we're gonna have to not use my new fancy weapon for a long ass time. Jesus Christ. Stop murdering me and just die already. They would cooperate a bit. I'm here to murder you over and over. You have immortal immortality, werewolves. Every time I kill you, you come back. Let me kill you like 40 times and then I'll leave you alone. How about that? Good deal for me. I remember this drop rates being much higher. Remember the drop rates being much higher. This is quite terrible right now. And I'm dead. We had a death during a farming run. That's super inefficient and annoying. This is just wasting time as I'm trying to get items. Ugh. There's no good way to do this. Just run in and kill him and hope you get items. The only way this would be easier is if I had a weapon that could one-shot them, but... I don't think I'll ever have a weapon that powerful unless I got like fucking 28 percenter fire gems, which I have 13 percenters right now. And 28 percent fire gems are some of those rare things that I've ever found in this game. And that's in another playthrough. Really? No chunks. I am going to find one. Will give me a chunk. Come on. I'm running out of bold hunter's marks. Soon I won't be able to farm them anymore. This is... awful. Isn't there massively slow with super hard hitting weapons in this game? The slowest weapon, I would say, is the wheel. And the wheel, while slow, isn't that slow. The problem with the wheel is the wheel can't be uh, buffed with fire. Which is these guys' biggest weaknesses. If it could be buffed with fire, then, I mean, hell yeah, I'd use it. It would destroy them. But, it can't be buffed with fire. This is my best fire weapon right now. There also are no fire spells. There's a flamethrower, but I would need to upgrade it, and to upgrade it, I would need to kill these guys. Annoying. There's one more spot I can farm for chunks, but it's less reliable. 
There's a chunk. Alright, I'll take that. Let's just stop farming, I guess, and I'll just have to do this off stream. For like three hours, I guess, because their drop rates are being complete bullshit. I don't know why. I've never had this much trouble farming them before. <sighs> I can get one level on my sword at least, but I wanted two. One or two levels on my sword. Cause this is this is the weapon. The weapon that I will be using for a huge chunk of the game. It's bullshit powerful. Now I need four more if I wanted to plus eight. Okay. It says it's doing 457 damage, which is actually... Uh, AR's lie, like it said, it, it, if if it was true, then it would be doing 120 more damage than my Eever, but actually pretty similar in terms of damage. Okay. Anything I can buy in here? You can buy chunks in here, but they're 20 each. They're never worth paying for that much. The Blood Rock is worth it, though. 60 for one of the... I'm actually gonna buy that, because I can get that. Fuck. Now that we have two... Fortify the soft spear ones. There we go. And remember all the combos this weapon can do. Oh yeah, I need to switch back to my old armor. Come on, turn. Dead yet? Not dead yet. Shrouded by night, but with steady stride. Colored by blood, but always clear with mine. Proud unto the church. Beasts are a curse, and the curse is a shackle. Only ye are the true blades of the church. Man is muttering to himself. A weirdo. All of these are gonna be locked. Oh, I forgot what to do with a rifle in the back. That hurts so much. Stop talking! Hey, Grandpa. Die. Oh, he's still alive. Hell, Grandpa. Die. Right now, this weapon isn't doing that much. But it will. That's the thing. It will absolutely destroy everything later in the game. Problem is, I need a lot of stuff. Oh, Frista Gradia. That's the least useful item in the game, by the way. We're supposed to go. I forget. What's down here? 
Praetor cell. Yeah, that's pretty. Are you a hunter? Well, that's very odd. Do you hear the toll of the bell? I hear the bell. Liar. The beast you seek will not be found here. Go back to your hunt. And if you have the chance, put this knight behind you. Places better left untouched. Secrets better left alone. Only a fool would so brazenly roam. Ah, that guy's a dickhead. We're gonna meet him later. And again, and again, and again, and again. We're gonna meet him a lot. And I'm gonna probably rage a bit. Good dick. Hate that guy. This part sucks. There's no... There's no other way to put it. This part sucks. Oh yeah, I forgot about these rats with those weird eyes. The bloodstone chunk for free, at least. Sometimes find them in the DLC. There is, I believe, I don't remember if it's one or two NPCs in here that are going to be trying to murder us. I think there's two, but there might be three. One's right there, but one's... Yeah, there's one. Third? No. Ah, uh, he's already seen me. Hundred damage and And that's why this weapon is fucking kick ass. Now we shouldn't neglect the uh, regular stance, because the le regular stance is good as well. Not as good. Right now it's doing a whole lot less at a whole lot less speed. Right now. Spamming this is better. Now that doing right there, that's a spell I'll be getting. Hunter. Annoying NPC. Now this part's very clever. I like this. You got this little altar here. We got an eye earlier in the game. Go ahead and you. Take the eye and you stick it in there. So the elevator moves. Why is that part clever? You'll see. It's very clever. I'm gonna ride it back down.
this is a very nice thing. I'll ride it again. Uh, we're gonna wait for the second platform. <laughs> Lawrence's skull. And then this time, I pull this and we're gonna ride it on along with. Very well hit. Very nice. Let's go check out Lawrence's skull shell. The skull of Lawrence, first vicar of the Ealing Church, in reality became the first cleric piece. That his human skull only exists within the night. The skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past, and he failed to protect. He was destined to seek his skull, but even he, if he found it, he could never restore his memory. I also got the church cannon. This cannon, but a church version. There's less damage, and I don't remember why you would use it. Does less damage. Heal? and it requires blood tinge 16. What's that? Terrible. Ah, the research hall. This place is weird. Thanks, please. Two of them. Yes. How many do we have? Four. That's not enough. We need five. Has someone... Anyone seen my eyes? I am afraid I dropped the new puddle. Everything is pale now. Well, that sucks for you, man. There's no reason to kill that guy. I just do it because I don't like him. Which might seem rude, because he's been experimented on and has no eyes anymore, but... Eh. Gonna do. Maybe charge. Perfect. Now I have enough for him to level up. The reason I kill him is it reminds me of the enemies in this area. And I don't like the enemies in this area. They are, uh, unfun. I'm gonna try this bit. Three swings. Torment. Three swings still. We're gonna try the fire weapon then. like three swings, but this is faster. Meaning, this is still the best. As you can see, these enemies are slightly relentless. They are horribly dangerous. Quite easily combo you. Kill me, please, just kill me, free me. Sure. 
go ahead and kill you. doesn't sound very nice. And she isn't. So she's done some bad stuff. Done a bad. Oh yeah. Okay, this is the worst type of enemy. One holding an IV. Okay. Because they have lots of health, they're very fast, and they're very angry. Some of these bookshelves are traps. You gotta take it very careful when you walk past other than shelves. Now we can jump to that platform. Station room floor four. Damp blood gem. Nice. Let's drop down here. It's dangerous, but you gotta be careful. But play it safe, and it's not too bad. Some of these bastards throw shit at you. Sedatives. Those look useful. <laughs> Don't remember how to tell if one of the staircases are. That's where we entered.
effectively gone in a circle. Oh yeah, there's the item over there. Can't get that right now. Ow. Oh. They have uh, nasty combos. I have enough HP to survive the combos if I had full HP when I started it. That's something I made sure. That's why I went to 35 vit so fast. Yeah, here we go. Big old button on the floor right here. Step on it and bookshelf explodes out after like a second. Right there in front of us. A whole bunch of those traps. can jump to that platform, but it doesn't reach anywhere th that side. That was reached somewhere on that side. Got floor floor three. Get into. Oh. All right. Oh, save me. I'll save you by murdering you. Sorry about that. Because there's no saving them, they're gonna die. They've been turned into horrifying things. It's over for them. Hey, look at them! They're doing fucked up shit though. Tying them down to benches and sticking needles in them and shit. Fucked up. Elevator. Ladder. The room. The floor crawling ones are the worst. These are gonna stomp on them. Decorative old hunter garb. I remember how this looks. Oh yeah. Don't really like that look. Looks alright, I guess. Cool. That's a shield down there, by the way. It's actually the only good shield in the game. That one blocks a hell of a lot of magic damage. Oh, here's my favorite NPC. Love that guy. I'll let him live. He's having fun. Here we are. This is the person I was looking for. For cut. Items before we talk. Is that you, Lady Maria? Ah. No. You're someone else. Yeah, I am. Please, could you do something for me? I need brain fluid. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Please, I need... Yeah, we'll get you brain fluid. So, now we gotta get our brain fluid. It's an optional thing, but I recommend doing it. 
Because uh, you need to if you want to use one of the weapons. There's a weapon that has a secret mo or there's a weapon that you can get that when you get it, the weapon seems useless. But if you're uh, wearing a certain thing that she gives you, then you can actually use the weapon. And it's a very good one. Yeah, this this leads nowhere. If you're going up here, you're just gonna fall off and die. Cause this place is kind of weird. This is this is some Harry Potter shit. I don't remember the exact way to go, but I think it's just keep going up. If I remember correctly. We gotta get our brain fluid, which, uh, we basically have to find- th those guys have been finding, like, that guy went plip-plop and all that. We gotta find, like, that, except without a human body. Just- just the upper part. The head part. That, oh. That's what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. I believe we need three. Oh yeah, this place gives us a lot of echoes. We have tons now. I don't want to jump to that. Or that floor. I'm gonna do that. There's one. An NPC. backwards flip off of that and die. I don't know if he dropped anything, but I'm going after him. Did sedatives. I wanted the sedatives. Sedatives are good, man. You need them. They're kind of expensive to buy, so worth it. staircases don't have railings on some of the sides which that's very unsafe probably should have installed railing there although that railing's been torn off hell some of the railings there just never was one There was never a railing here. That seems very unsafe. Yeah, these things go and flip plop. I'll say something. To the brain fluid. Yeah, we're just murdering helpless brain things that speak. Because we're nice. Yeah, I believe that's death. Eve, that's currently death. We can try it, but it would suck to die right now. Lady Marie, 
Oh yeah, they actually regenerate. They're not actually really killing them. You can hit them and they'll scream at, but they'll they'll just come back. Look, it's back. All right, we're gonna jump down into that hole and probably die. Science. Science. <laughs> yep. Science. Let's take the shortcut this time. Because we can skip a whole lot of the enemies. Oh yeah, doesn't... Uh... Time show up soon? I don't see him yet. Remember where he shows up. I'm gonna collect all three brain fluid before I give any to, to her. I need to remember to reset this elevator. I'm probably gonna die two or three times. This place is actually kind of hard. Once uh, we trigger a certain thing. Yeah, this is a good spot to farm bullets. Down. We need some sedatives. Things are very unfun. Right. Do I kind of suck to die? Why do random ass fucking patients do more damage than a dude with a sword? I just went through 11 blood vials getting to the third floor. <sighs> that was a pain. You can't really run past them that well either. They'll beat the shit out of you as you try to go up the ladder.
gun grandpa right there. Crap right there on the way to me. Guy has no head. I, I do like this enemy for one reason that there's so many variations of them. There's the regular one, the IV one, the one falling before, the one without a head. That's pretty cool. Like variations of the Like, even just taking out an enemy and giving him a different weapon, it, it still changes how you fight an enemy quite a bit. Now this room is fucked up. Enlarged head, yes, you can wear these enemies on your head because you might want to. Rip drop. Rip drop. Found you here when you wear it, apparently. According to. Drop the plot. There's my echoes. Looking for you. What? Eh? Oh, there's no echoes over here. I saw my echo. Oh, wait, did the minigun guy just grab them? Yeah, he just grabbed them. Fast. Echoes. There's like 200k in there. A lot of echoes, dude. Can't be stealing them. Now this is a safe way to enter because we land in the middle of an elevator. Now we have a shortcut all the way up. This is like the easiest fucking enemy to parry. That shit. Just hit the parry button as they're attacking and you'll get it. I'm looking for my brain fluid. I remember there being one up here. One of the flip flops are up here. Part reminded me a lot of Dark Souls 1. Walking across rafters, being careful, trying not to fall off. Listen, Clark. Sorry. I like hitting him. Stone shot. I don't know. 
Seven. Listen, stop. The water, huh? I'll kill you. I got then. Anyways, hold on to this. And push this, and something weird will happen. Every staircase that we're down there has not moved one floor up. Which changes a lot, actually. You wouldn't think it would change that much, but it does. A whole lot of floors we couldn't access, and now. Is a flip flop. Have you heard like a slip back here a covered jet? No. Thank you. Christ, that guy's running. Got somewhere to be. In a hurry. Fun boys. Massive combo. He's fine. Stop combo. Quite rude and it freaking hurts. Attack for his open foes. Give me very. Kill that one. So now it becomes a kind of different game because now this entire place is very different. You've got to work your way down. With all the positions of everything's been changed. Now what I'm trying to remember is where the last brain is. I need three. Good. Ash. Ash. <laughs> Killed you. Got your brain. one somewhere make that jump. I feel I can make that jump. That feels doable. Feels very doable. Yeah. Oh, 
this guy off. For a second, see what if I missed anything. Ever. Which one's this? Ah, oh, that's the elevator hole. This. Echoes in, by the way. Get a whole lot. Where's the last brain fluid at? Diamond? Diamond's not here. Sorry to <laughs> a lot of Adeline. Oh, don't be grief. I shouldn't. <laughs> right, I'm gonna look up where all the brain fluid is. Search hall.
Ah, okay. That's pretty... That's pretty clever, actually. We need to reload the area. Easiest way to do that. Just reload the area. Well, let's reload the area. We also gotta remember we got a cell key. Hello. Oh, don't be eyes. <laughs> oh, we have to actually. Okay, that's fine. Hi, Simon. Oh, hello. The true face of the blood worshipping, beast purging, healing church. But that's not all. You seek the secrets held by the Nightmare, do you not? Then here's what you must do. Climb the Astral Clock Tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. Go on, she hides. Alright, let's kill Maria, but... Not yet. Let's upgrade our weapon. Now we need six more bloodstone. I guess right now I should just off it because got nothing better pretty much. We're about to end this stream. Oh, I'm out of blood vials. Five, four, hundred. I want to use level up. Tell you what, we'll level up and then we'll buy blood vials. Now buy the holy moon. Piercing right by that. Yeah. 
Gammon awaits. Go. Very well. Let. I can get six level ups. Let's get fifty two arcane. And yeah, blood vials are the rest. Yep. Nope. Now just I just want to finish the uh, this DLC area, and then I'm gonna stop the stream. You guys know, the stream is gonna end in like four or five minutes. I'll kill her, I'll kill her. Don't rush Genia. Oh, don't be ice on her. Oh, how did you attach more? Oh, as I was a blood one sea front. As I was a blood one seafront drive. She's not updating. Try it again. I don't want to kill her. Killing her will give me one of the items I need, but not all the items. Come on, lady. Hello, please. I'm trying. Hello, please, please. Playing flu. Without. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I can take this. Yeah, yeah, key. Please. All right, says so what we need to do. Open that. Here. I don't fully remember this area. I'm uh self what the lumen You can always tell if these guys turn turn into those uh, weird alien heads. Become those weird alien dudes with the um, weird heads that walk around, and one of them is going to become the boss that we killed in the base game. Basically, they're making them go completely insane by the contact. Uh, great ones.
kind of cool. Well, it's not cool. Black Sky Eye. That is a very important. For a single. Bullet, a very powerful projectile. Look at that. That's just amazing. Is recover plus four. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's useless. Bloodstone shot. Dive right down here. I remember we got a key earlier that was for a cell.
tough little fight. First pick. Round on to beast only. This guy just beats his head against. Murder him, of course. With the Yanomura. Yamamura. That, which has a cat. It's not as cool as my hat. Yeah, that guy's pretty much insane. Just, just kill him. key for uh, his cell yet. We'll get that later, I think. Alright. thing to find in the stream and is uh, finishing the brain for the past. Finish it once you've given it a second one, just reload the area once you've been out on the balcony. And then head back. Back there, yeah. Be able to find her. Yeah, I believe. I think she moved. She moves to like the balcony area, if I remember correctly. But yeah. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I'm messing with the mic filter. Fast. Okay. See if she's moved. Still here. Oh, the sticky drip. How extraordinary. Can you hear? <laughs> 
Truly. <laughs> Alright, we gotta reload the area a few times now. She moved. Let's see. <laughs> All right, she's moved. Oh, hello. One last time. Murky. The stick is in my head. Please. I want to. <laughs> The stick in my head, please. I want. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, my guide, I see. My own. <laughs> Thank you, really. <laughs> Oh, she's dead now. And we'll be doing this boss next time. I just wanted to open the door because now there's going to be a fog gate there.